It's a bowl. Good morning. What's up, world? This is Brian Kuzmar with the Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, weather is kind of getting warm. It looks like we're back into our summertime months here. Uh, a little bit cloudy, but thank God that breeze is still here. But it won't last long. Again, that's what Florida is. Hot, hotter, and occasionally cool. Uh, I've got the live uh, cam up here in uh, Miami. This is the uh, Coral City camera, Miami's underwater live stream. I've got it not so live. But it was a little bit choppy there for a little bit. As you can see, I got it delayed just a tad, but lots of cool stuff going on down there and lots of cool fish. I think that's an angel, actually. Well, uh, and uh, Sergeant Majors, and there's some soft corals down here, some hard corals. I know my corals a little bit. Well, let's take a look and see what's going on markets, and let me reduce that screen a little bit. And by the way, again, Coral City Cam, live cam, you can watch it anytime, except at night. So, oh man, take a look at them. They're pretty colorful. That's a, I think that's a parrotfish. If I, is that a parrotfish? I forget. All right, we're not here to talk about fishes. We're talk, here to talk about, I know people are going to say, oh, you're going to go into economics and politics. Of course I've got to, because it has to play in with what we do, uh, uh, you know, why we're buying gold and silver. Knowledge is Pow, pow, I'm sorry, or power, <laughs> by Francis Bacon. I think he's related to Kevin Bacon somehow, but uh, I'm just joking around here. Uh, there it is. Knowledge is power, Francis Bacon. Of course, this is a saying that's been around forever. You know, I didn't even know who said it until I just looked it up. Uh, Francis Bacon, and I said, <laughs> probably no relation to Kevin Bacon, but you never know. There's a lot of relationships to ba Kevin Bacon, I've heard. What is it, seven degrees or something? Um, I want to talk about, we do talk about economics and politics, but something that uh, I've noticed out there, and I, I'm sure a lot of you have, is the uh, inconsistency in what they say and what they do. Now, this is not, you know, I'm, I'm talking more about our uh, policymakers worldwide, our politicians worldwide, our officials worldwide, uh, the, the uh, crony corporations and the, uh, uh, the uh, corporate media. Uh, again, what they say and what they do, and then they kind of backtrack themselves, and they say, well, we never said that. And oddly enough, uh, uh, George Orwell pretty much nailed it, uh, and I'm not sure how many of you folks out there read George Orwell's 1984. If you're a reader and you have not read it yet, um, boy, it's, you're, it, it's very, very, uh, 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 it tells about the future. George Orwell kind of, he got it wrong by 1984 and perhaps when this is all started, but really we are living 1984 right now, just perhaps 20 years uh, uh, a bit, no, actually longer than that, right? 40 years a bit late, but no less. Uh, this is where we're at. And why am I bringing this up? Because it's something called double think, uh, which I see every day out there, whether it's from, <sighs> You know, whether it's from, uh, uh, again, the crony uh, corporate uh, corporations out there, whether it's from uh, uh, corporate media, uh, doublethink means the power of holding two contradictory beliefs uh, in one, one's mind simultaneously and accepting both of them as truth. And what we call that is uh, when it causes problems with your brain, uh, it's called cognit cognitive dissonance. Uh, but really, I don't see uh, accepting both types of... Uh, uh, contradictory beliefs or contradictory beliefs is being a big problem with a lot of people nowadays and it's almost as if we've been brainwashed now this is another uh, thing on uh, double thinking I'm gonna get into precious metals and this all ties into precious metal folks uh, because when society starts to collapse and go downhill and when your empire starts to fail and I believe we are in that stage as if we are not in the decline already um, this is basically what they have to do to try to keep the uh, keep the whole thing together. And real quickly, let me just kind of go on to this, and then we'll get into some precious metal stuff, current news, and some other things. Again, all fitting into uh, why you want to buy uh, gold and silver. Because when the world around you collapses, what do you go to? Well, you go to something that has a 5,000-year track uh, uh, track record. Gold and silver has been around 5,000 years as a medium of money and exchange. And uh, of course, when I say exchange. Uh, it also meant barter in the old days, but I don't think so much in the modern times. You'll always be exchanging this for more dollars and such. But again, as I always say, it's a drinking game here sometimes. I digress. There's your first drink of the day. All right. So uh, here we go. Uh, in the novels, uh, well, give me one second here. I'm going to move up to here. The novel explicitly shows people learning doublethink and news speak due to peer pressure and a desire to fit in or gain status within the party. All right, sound familiar? To be seen as a loyal party member in the novel, 
or I mean, or, or to be seen as a loyal, uh, loyal part, party member. I'm sorry, missed that period there. In the novel, for someone to even recognize, let alone mention, any contradiction within the context of the party line is akin to blasphemy and could subject that person to disciplinary action and instant social disapproval of fellow party members. And folks, that's exactly what we got going right now uh, with our big corporations, crony corporations out there, uh, deplatforming people, particularly uh, tech companies and social media and uh, corporate media. They're, they're deplatforming people uh, it, because if if they mention the contradictions, uh, I mean, for example, when it came to, uh, I mean, I got kicked off Facebook, uh, and I was, I, I liked Facebook. I had a lot of friends out there, family, and people I, I really have no connection to right now because I relied on that damn platform uh, to stay in contact with these people. I should have never done that. I should have saw the writing on the wall, but no less, uh, they kicked me off for uh, what I would call uh, double speak. For me, uh, uh, the contradiction that I brought up. And what was that contradiction? Well, the contradiction was on the efficacy of uh, masks, and the contradiction was on the efficacy of vaccinations, and the, conf the, the, uh, the, the contradiction. And uh, uh, actually, uh, I was thrown off of Facebook for uh, hate speech and, what was it, violence by saying that, okay? I felt that, uh, but anyways, this is where we are today, is that anybody that brings up the truth, or maybe not even the truth, anyone that, that contradicts the, the narrative, the party narrative, the corporate mainstream narrative, the, uh, the official government narrative, anyone that contradicts that nowadays, it, it's like blasphemy. They're basically, you're cut out of the system. And this is what frightens me with the, with the possibility of going to uh, uh, digital monies. I know the young folks are all for, oh, digital monies are cool, you know, but the truth is that's the next deplatforming, folks, is taking your money away from you. They're already, they already do that in many ways, but w wait to the point where, where you say something they don't like. And we are not too far off from Big Brother here, folks. And again, if you haven't read 1984, man, it's recommended reading for sure. Any of you young folks out there that said you put it aside or you bought the book or you said, oh, I'm going to read that one day, there's no better time to read 1984 right now because we are living it. We are absolutely living it. And uh, uh, what are my videos mostly about here? My videos are about wealth preservation. That's what I'm here to show you. What do I know about? I know about gold and silver, the physical metal. What do I know about that as well? I know it's been around for 5,000 years. It's out survived these conniving, manipulative mothers. Uh, I thought I was going to say it, didn't you? Uh, but. Uh, um, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a good way to preserve your wealth. It has been. History has shown us that gold and silver is an excellent way to preserve your wealth. And what have I been saying for the last year or more? Longer, two years now. I've been doing these videos almost for two years, maybe three. Jeez, I forgot. I stopped counting uh, every day. <laughs> uh, however, what is gold and silver good? It, 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 it's, it's here to preserve your wealth against the fiat currencies. It's, it's here. Uh, so it's got a history, it's got a track record to it, and uh, this is why I, 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 you know, I bring up the stuff about politics. I bring up the stuff, maybe we are in the decline of our empire. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, here's uh, the drinking word for the day, I digress. <laughs> uh, this week I went out and stockpiled food. I mean, gosh, I mean, I feel, I've already had stockpiled food just because of the uh, uh, situation with the hurricanes we've had in Florida and the possibility that if we had a, a Category 5 hit Florida and, and combined maybe with another event or a supply break, hey, think about the change, of, you know, the, the breakdown in uh, supplies right now. Uh, combine that with a hurricane, natural disaster, you could be out of food for a little while. So, I mean, I'm not doing it like I'm thinking that uh, we're going to be in the Kevin Costner, the postman, the dystopian world like that. Uh, but uh, I'm thinking more of it in catastrophes or combined events, black swan events. So I bought extra food this week, and actually for the freezer, I figure we'll go through uh, uh, fresh foods before I start wanting to go through freeze dried. But I recommend people do that uh, just in case, especially if you live in Florida or you live in areas that are prone to natural disasters as well. Uh, but uh, I digressed again. I went from two subjects, George Orwell, to double speak to uh, 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 stocking food. However, however, <laughs> that should be the new word for the drinking game. Let's get into spot prices here. The coin showed a bull, and uh, I think the coin got it right. And also, the coin showed what was it? A bull on Friday, uh, late Friday, which I called for Sunday night. So 
Uh, two right so far, which means uh, I'll probably be wrong tomorrow. <laughs> Remember, this is just for fun when I do the coin toss. However, I've gotten word that there's a few of you out there betting on my coin tosses, all right? That's not legal behavior, so <laughs> continue to do it. I don't care. Uh, 1933.70, it is up 12.77. Um, you know, I was expecting a smackdown uh, here in gold and silver. I really was to some degree, but I'll get into that in a moment. And Ted Butler also mentioned the same thing. It was his opinion as well. 19, 19 being the low, uh, 1937 being the high, and we're just a few bucks off from that high. Uh, silver hanging on to that $25 range, a sub $25 slightly on Friday. Uh, again, probably open. You know, I didn't look at last night's opening or, or open prices. Uh, we'll take a look here in the 24-hour charts in a moment. But a high of 25.28, and we're, again, we're not sitting too far off from that. Most of the action occurred in the upside uh, in the uh, New York Crimex markets this morning. Uh, lots of stuff going on there. Not quite sure what. And again, still anticipating a smackdown here, maybe to that $23 level on silver. Uh, and the uh, not because they, you know, well, they, they, they can and they have in the past. Uh, and maybe a sub $1,900 in gold as well. I can't see it staying there long, and, and it would just be more proof and more indications that this is just pure manipulation in, by the big COMEX shorts uh, that uh, CRIMEX allows. However, again, I'm just tired of talking about that stuff. If you don't know about all, uh, you know, how the big commercial shorts do this and how they manipulate, ready, ready for it, monkey hammer, <laughs> these markets, uh, then you need to watch a few of my videos. But uh, uh, gosh, I, it's just like a broken record talking about it. And uh, platinum right now, 1,021 low, a high of 1,048, and uh, not sitting too far from that as well at 1,040. Let's move into the 24-hour charts here and see what's going on. I'm going to do a quick refresh. I like the 24-hour charts at Kitco uh, only because it, it gives us, you know, a timeline of a couple days here. Uh, that would have been Friday, Sunday night, and today's opening. Looks like last night when it opened up, Gold kind of took a, uh, started to kind of move in an upward trend. Uh, again, that was Sunday, that was last night, moved into the 1925 range, uh, in choppy range between 1930 and 1925. And lo and behold, look, in the New York Crimex markets uh, is when we get that uh, trajectory to the upward side of uh, 1935, and then backs off a little bit. So curious to see where it goes right now. As I said, I was expecting gold to, and remember, you silver folks, you talk about gold a lot. And even if you don't own any gold, you need to follow it because where gold goes, silver will ultimately follow. So if gold all of a sudden is in, in play all over the world because central banks are trying to, uh, oh, you know, that was a subject I wasn't going to get into earlier. Central banks own it. You know, what, what is central banks worldwide covet? They covet gold. So uh, uh, central banks are buying it. Uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, retail buying it out there. So uh, the price is ultimately going to have to move up here. And I got to be careful here because I can lose my mind, my, my train of thought where I'm going to. And I did that as soon as I thought of commercial banks. I said, you know, or not commercial banks, but uh, uh, central banks. Uh, I was just reminding myself that central banks buy a lot of gold. That's what they own. And this is the reason that, uh, uh, you know, we should own it as well. <laughs> when, the, when the world's smartest bankers that have conned the entire world out of their life savings are putting gold away, not cryptos, not this. In fact, they want you into cryptos. That's why they're going to create a digital uh, dollar down the road here is to suck you into that so they can uh, take that away from you somehow if you don't follow the rules. Uh, but I digress for the third time. There's your th second or third drink. Who's counting? <laughs> All right. Let's move over to 24-hour uh, spot prices. And again, I was saying a little bit earlier that you uh, silver guys really need to follow gold because where it goes, silver will ultimately follow. And gold is coveted by central banks, by the elite, by, uh, by everybody. It's just when there was so much money being made in equities markets and so much bullshit, NFTs or whatever it may be, uh, all kinds of nonsense, crazy investments out there, that's where the money was going. But as soon as a little bit of money piles into gold, uh, I don't think these big commercial short positions are going to be able to handle it for long. I think their comics will go into a default like LME does, uh, and then they'll have to be bailed out by the crooks at JP. Again, all my opinion, but the opinion of people much smarter than me as well. Uh, we were talking about silver, you silver guys and all you silver folks out there. Look, take a look at this. Uh, last night's markets, uh, we were in sub, uh, again, here's Friday, all right, around the close time. And uh, 
There's Friday, sub $25. Uh, spikes last night uh, on the open, kind of gets that sub 24, almost a 24.90 again, wasn't following it last night. Uh, and now we're above that $25 mark, but you know, still, Expect the smackdown. Don't hope for it. Of course we don't. We'd like to see this market to continue to trend up, but uh, expect a smackdown in this. And if you can buy product, the problem I'm seeing right now is just lack of physical product out there and the premiums are going to eat up whatever downside you have. But you know what? A downside, even with a high premium, is still a lower price, no matter how you slice it and dice it. So buy the dips, folk, if you can. If not, just wait them out because it's, uh, it's just all... The short positions, these big commercial banks that are short in, in the COMEX on silver and uh, probably gold, uh, but mostly in the silver markets, uh, they're hurting, man. They're in big trouble right now. They've got to drive this price down to 23. They need the help of the CRIMEX, COMEX, CME. Uh, they need the help of JP to get it back down there so they just don't totally crack up like the LME nickel market. Uh, but this is what happens when you manipulate markets so long. Uh, all of a sudden, and the beauty of gold and silver is there's actually a product that's supposed to be behind it. So once they actually run out of the real product, uh, they're left holding the bag of paper. And, well, all right, let's move along here to some other things as well and take a look at uh, what's the uh, stock market doing in the red. Uh, it was in the green earlier today, so that's kind of surprising. And uh, uh, I'm going to take a wild guess. Well, the S&P is uh, up a tiny bit, but overall, it looks like things are in the red here. And uh, I'm going to take a slight guess to say that the uh, crypto markets are, uh, or uh, Bitcoin, I won't say crypto markets. Yep, uh, Bitcoin is down as well. Uh, boy, it's just following that equity market. That's the craziest thing. Uh, I put out the word out to a couple folks out there, listeners, or your, your listeners out there, anyone that understands the Bitcoin price real well, how come it seems to be following uh, uh, the equities markets almost exactly when equities start to fall? I mean, not same time, but it generally it just seems like it's following the equities market. What happened? I thought Bitcoin was independent. I thought it was like the gold of, uh, you know, it's supposed to replace gold, but it certainly hasn't. It's just turned into a, uh, a replica of the uh, equities market. I don't know. It's weird. Explain it to me, someone, please. <laughs> and uh, here, just a quick look. They just finally updated the, uh, uh, what is it, the misery index, the official U.S. misery index. Of course, the misery index is measured by inflation, which is in the red, and unemployment, which is the blue. And as you can see, unemployment figures were much higher well, I mean, there's the critter right there. This is critter 19. Take a look at that. Uh, we had uh, critter 19, super huge, super huge, kind of sounds like the guy that ran the last administration. We had super huge, huge uh, 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 unemployment, but man, inflation was just non-existent. That's because there was no business going on, basically none. We had huge stockpiles of stuff, so we had to use that stuff up. But meanwhile, production just completely slowed down. And look, unemployment, unemployment starts to come down substantially under the last ad administration, actually quite a bit when you start to look at this line. However, uh, inflation starts to raise its ugly head. But who does it raise its ugly head the most under? Well, the people that spend the most and, and, and have no concept of, uh, uh, in fact, here's a double speak for you. Uh, or double think. Uh, yeah, we'll spend more money to make our economy better. Yes, we'll spend <laughs> we'll spend money that we don't have. Yes, we'll create money we don't have, and that'll make everything better. That's double think, folks. And that's exactly why you're seeing this line right here increase dramatically because uh, uh, it's too contradictory. Give me one second here. Uh, double think means the power of holding two contradictory beliefs in one's mind simultaneously and accepting both of them and that's exactly the issue we got going on uh, with uh, this current administration and even the last one come on man there was nothing fiscally conservative about the last administration or any of them prior to this they all despite what they said before they got in the office they all ended up being uh, uh, spenders big spenders more money for the military more money for corporations more money uh, more money, more money, more money. You know, some are just worse. Okay, <laughs> some are just worse than others. All right, but uh, we haven't had any uh, fiscal conservatives in either party for how long? All right, uh, we haven't had any peacemakers in any party for how long? Just a bunch of war hawks uh, like Lindsey McCain. I'm mean, Lindsey McCain. <laughs> I call him Lindsey McCain. How fitting, uh, Lindsey McCain. 
Uh, geez, I hope Lindsey gets to meet uh, John someday soon too as well based on what that, that guy never met a war he didn't mind sending your kids to die in, never. And, and I'm sorry to say this, McCain didn't either. Uh, boy, I'm getting off in the political stuff. Let's stay with gold and silver. Okay, uh, but it all falls into politics and economics. Holy crap, LME, LME boss says banks are partly to blame for nickel short squeeze. All right, the LME is already trying to lay off the blame. I'm sure when the CME takes a big shit, uh, uh, and uh, defaults in silver, one of their markets that they're going to say, they're going to blame the banks as well. Oh, it's the bank's fault. Uh, no, CME, Comex, it's your fault for being greedy, mother. Didn't say it, didn't say it, but uh, trying to cut down on my, uh, my, my, my expletives. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, who didn't expect that right there? Biggest commodity markets are starting to seize up. There you go. And uh, when is the uh, CME going to start to seize up? Well, I wouldn't trust Bloomberg to tell me because that's just another corporate rag in my opinion, but uh, uh, Montenegro will pay, repay loan from Credit Suisse to recover its national gold, uh, nation's gold. That was an interesting article actually. Uh, they have about 30 million euro that they owe the Credit Suisse Bank and the Credit Suisse Bank actually is holding on to their gold. Montenegro basically, I think, they, I think even this small country sees the writing on the wall because they don't want the Swiss hanging on to their gold. Look. This is what I've been talking about when, the, when, when all of a sudden finances become weaponized. Montenegro is probably looking at what, what uh, uh, Europe and the United States did with Russian uh, uh, gold and Russian uh, money reserves, okay? We stole them, we took them. <laughs> as soon as we, they disagree. Now, granted, you know, uh, granted uh, uh, Russia uh, did invade uh, Ukraine, and granted that is the fault of John McCain, who in 2014 and 16, with the uh, help of the uh, administration at that time, which I think was Obama, uh, helped the CIA throw a coup in Ukraine, which divided the country, and here we sit today. Not only that, uh, the current administration adding weapons, throwing weapons, it's like throwing gasoline on the fire. Uh, but I digress. There's your fourth or fifth drink of the day. Uh, Montenegro looks at Russia, looks at China, looks at other countries, Iran, Venezuela, and says, you know what, as soon as they don't like us, and all big countries are thinking this, as soon as the United States, Europe, uh, starts to not like us, are they going to weaponize our stuff, steal our shit? Uh, yeah, we will. Trust me on this. Uh, the people running our governments are crooks. Uh, and, and not so nice people. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Uh, so yes, Montenegro, good idea. Get your gold back because, uh, again, if you, if you have a disagreement with the United States or Europe, uh, they're going to take all your wealth. They're going to just steal it. Great, great excuse to do that. By the way, you want to hear a great story. Uh, you want to read something very interesting, too, that, that ties in the gold. Um, I'm going to type it in here and see if it comes up anywhere. Ukraine's gold. All right. When Ukraine... Uh, uh, had the big coup, and uh, uh -huh. you, uh, oh, I can't find it right here. All right. Yeah, I no longer think Ukraine's gold is in so-called official hands. Uh, oh gosh, I'm not going to read that. That's ridiculous. It looks Ukraine's gold uh, taken. I think it was 2016. All right, but basically uh, during the coup of 2014-2016, the CIA-inspired coup. Um, there it is. I'm not sure. I don't want to go to one of these uh, conspiracy sites, but uh, this is something that is true. And according to reports out of Kiev, the U.S. quietly transferred 33 tons of Ukrainian gold out of the country and back to vaults in the U.S. Presumably, the sovereign wealth transfer would be counted as partial collateral for a fresh round of IMF, U.S. Fed, and ECB. Folks, <laughs> nobody's even talking about the 33 tons of gold that we took from Ukraine in 2016 and 2014 before he threw the coup. And why does nobody talk about this? Because in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. And knowledge is power. They don't want you to have the knowledge. They don't want you telling the truth. And that's why they de-platform you. And that's what doublethink means. All right. I don't mean to be jumping back and forth with that stuff. And uh, uh, let me kind of move along here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I looked at that. We looked at crypto markets. We looked at that, and we we're talking about uh, uh, this right now. GATA.org. If you're new to my videos, these are the guys that tell you how the gold markets are rigged. They are. They tell you who the players are. And of course, if you're going to sit at the card table and play playing gold, uh, it's nice to know who the players are and how they rig the game. It makes you a better player. And what have I been saying this whole video? Uh, that and that. Knowledge is power, folks. All right. Uh, and GATA has knowledge of uh, how these markets are rigged. 
Again, if you're new to this video, make sure you read this, the basis confiscation. I got to read about confiscation because I think that's nonsense. But um, And where else do we go from here? A lot of good articles on here. It's not homework because no one likes homework, but recommend reading. If you haven't read up on some of this uh, uh, articles in GATA.org for the last week or two, there's some good stuff out here. And uh, oof, like I said, knowledge is power. Let's take a look at, uh, again, I'm talking politics, again, economics, but this plays in with gold and silver folks in a major way. Uh, and again, what are central banks covered? Uh, what do central banks uh, covet? What do they keep buying more and more of central banks all over the world, except for maybe the Fed? I'm not quite sure. But um, what do central banks buy? They buy gold. What are they still buying today? Gold. What is France? What is Russia? What is uh, Brazil? What are all these countries increasing their gold supply? Uh, or what are they increasing their uh, uh, stock rooms with? Gold. All right. So it all ties in. Uh, Zelensky bans 11 opposition parties, uh, pro-Russian. Um, folks, I don't want to say anything, but, you know, uh, that, you know, Ukraine has always been divided into two countries. The one side is Russian, with mostly Russian-speaking people. The other side is Ukrainians, uh, with mostly Ukrainian-speaking people on the western borders along Poland. It's always been a divided country. You know, when, when we CIA, sec, sec, uh, Secretary, uh, who was it, Newland or something like that, and then Ambassador Pyatt, uh, uh, when, when we threw that coup over there and overthrew their government, we upset the apple cart in Ukraine. We caused this. Uh, and again, I'm just telling you the truth. I don't know if it'll get me deplatformed for saying this, but we caused this, man. We caused the problems over there. We're ca we caused the death and destruction over there. Our government did. It really did. And it's sad. It really is. Uh, and then when you see that the uh, Ukrainian nationalists have people like this fighting for their side, I mean, here, it's true too. It's like a horror movie, Azov battalion fighters. Look at the patch. There's the patch. Those are Azov battalion fighters. Keep civilians hostage in a house, in their own country. Look at this. The, the, the footage is actually chilling. And uh, it's kind of sad. Uh, what's going on over there. And what does this have to do with the price of gold and silver? It just has to do with the deterioration of the entire world right now, folks. It looks like it's in play. And uh, economic collapse is down the road here shortly, in my opinion. I think I talked about buying food a little while ago. I recommend everyone do that. Uh, besides that, too, what's going on in Ukraine? What's uh, uh, Not many people know this. Ukraine has half of the world's neon output, which is very important for chips. Ukraine's two leading suppliers of neon, which produce about half of the world, the world, folks, supply of key ingredients for making chips have halted operations. They're probably not going to start for some, want, some time, but, you know, nobody's talking about this either. They don't want to talk about inflation. They don't want to they don't want to tell you that they created this mess. The United States, uh, the EU, NATO, they created this mess, folks. They created this upcoming inflation. you got to think, did they do it purposely? Was it a reason that they wanted to tip the apple cart over and even cause more pain to the people all over the globe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, all right, what is it that I do better than anyone else besides political commentary and economics, which <laughs> I can't say I do better than anyone else? I know what the best deals out there, folks, and I'm telling you, gold and silver is still tough to get right now. Uh, I'm not going to go over each product out here, but as you know, I advertise to beat JM and Atmex out there as far as their prices uh, and some other guys as well. But uh, I keep, you know, I got to narrow down my list here as I go. And JM Bullion is the 800 pound gorilla out there. Uh, and uh, uh, look, their premiums are still quite high. I just did a quick refresh here. Uh, let me just do one more refresh here and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, look at that, 2542. So even on generics, we're still looking at, you know, like $5 or almost 5 bucks over spot. Uh, yeah, nearly. And that's the low as price. So I think they've actually raised their prices again. Uh, the best products out there, the, the least expensive products, if you still need to stack silver, folks, is going to be 100-ounce uh, silver bars. I believe there's still availability of the limited quantities. Uh, Silver Eagles, absolutely avoid them. Avoid sovereign coins because the sovereign coins, as much as I love them, are all going to be in that six and seven and eight dollar plus premium range. I, I just can't see it being worth it. You know, stick with hundred ounce bars and kilos and uh, other cheaper products if you can. And again, as you know, I, you know if you live in South Florida and you can visit my store, we don't have an online business. Uh, we'll point you out to uh, uh, the best products. And, that, and again, we do beat JM and Atmex for sure. Uh, Gold, same thing, folks. I'm going to just take a look and see uh, what they have in gold, in stock gold. 
Uh, and, and like I said, I'll beat these prices as well. But uh, in stock gold, looks like uh, eagles are available. Gold has more availability right now for some reason. There, you know, but silver, man, we're just trying to buy silver right now is really, really tough. And the premiums have been ridiculous for a couple years now. I mean, uh, but now, you know, and a couple times even more ridiculous than this. But they're getting back to the point where it's really tough to find any silver. What does that tell you? It really seems like silver is rarer than gold. Uh, for the most part and maybe there's some truth to that we'll get into that and we've talked about that in the past as well best deals out there by far and again I'll beat these numbers are gold bars um, folks I would just stick with one ounce gold bars right now uh, I don't really big deal I'm not a big fan of the kilo gold bars I don't like them uh, only because I don't think you for the savings that you're gonna have again unless you're buying millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of gold um, I'd avoid the kilo bars and uh, stick with one ounce Valcombis right now or the Credit Suisse, whatever the better deals are uh, in your local coin stores. And as you know, I, I always talk about here, try to buy local, don't buy online. There's nothing wrong with Atmex and JM and the other guys. It's just that, uh, you know, you keep that money in your town, keep it in your community. I can't tell you how important that is to keep money in your community rather than having having sucked out of your community into another state and uh, even worse, maybe even to another country. Keep that money local because people like myself spend it. You know, when you come in to buy gold and silver from me, just like your local dealer, I go out and I spend it around town at restaurants, at uh, the hardware store, at the fishing store, you name it. So if I can't tell you how important it is to keep money locally, really. Uh, but no less, uh, let me move on from here, and I'm going to give you another drink here. I digressed. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, the uh, video on Friday, and I had a surprise visitor in the shop on Friday, in case you didn't see it. Uh, a gentleman named Hickcock45 uh, walked into my store, surprised the living heck out of me. And uh, again, I'm, I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos, but he's one of the guys that I do watch, and uh, uh, one of my favorites out there as well. And uh, he walked in the store, just I was kind of flabbergasted, and uh, it was nice to, I, I got to tell you, these videos have created some really cool relationships, new relationships, and, uh, and I've met a lot of cool people like uh, Hickok45 uh, because of these videos. So, uh, you know, I, I'm enjoying this, I really am. And again, fun, it was a fun day. Uh, I got the video out late, though, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, not too much to talk about in comments. I'm going to go down the line here, and I'd like to acknowledge everyone that comments. Again, the problem I'm having now is the comment section is getting so big, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, uh, read them all in the future. I'm going to have to start studying the comments to, to pick out the ones. But trust me, I read every single comment, even though I don't acknowledge everyone. Uh, just a time thing. Uh, outstanding, Hickok45, wow, okay. I, I'm not sure who Mr. Maltaby is, but I'll check just because you brought him up. And uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Induck. Uh, you straight full of common sense and useful. Man. Your anecdote of meeting uh, Hickok45 is great. And yeah, the, the anecdote I was really meeting uh, or making was uh, it just um, sometimes it's not what you do in life and your job. It's not about your job. It's about the relationships you build along the way in life, and that's family and friends and, and customers and everything. Uh, even uh, other people on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching, and you too, Acacia. I uh, appreciate that, Acacia. Um, I need to reverse direction. Yep, uh, yeah, he is. Very, uh, and I absolutely agree. Don't want to start going off on this, but uh, super, super humble, nice guy, just, just as much as he is in his video. And uh, yep, I'm a fan as well. Uh, Donald, uh, thanks for replying, Morgan's, no problem. And. Uh, um, Silver Wolf, thanks for your comment there. Um, all my purchases and sales and sales and purchases are private, so I'd rather not talk about that. But uh, no less, I believe that he does like gold and silver and coins and old stuff. He likes guns. Why not? Guns and old coins and all that stuff kind of go together. Metal, metal, <laughs> collectible, collectible, and fun to own. Uh, JM is uh, more expensive than SB unless you get the uh, military discount. That's probably true. And here we go. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess there's a lot of other fans out there too, as uh, as well at Hickok 45. And I again don't see why not. If you're a gun fan, he's probably one of the top go-to sites out there on YouTube. Uh, about 10 years. Wow, wow. I don't even know how long he's been around. YouTube is fairly new to me, so forgive me. Um, and let's see. Oh, Dan says I got an advertisement in the Palm Beach Post stating Florida residents scramble to get last walk in Liberty Roll strict limit four. Stay away from uh, Dan. That's just overpriced nonsense. 
overpriced bullshit in my opinion um, and uh, that's again my opinion but you can get a much better deal for a much better product and uh, um, uh, and have more fun with it than uh, what they're offering there in my opinion as well so let's see uh, not wanting to gush over a fellow youtuber <laughs> that's what I did I was gushing a little bit I admit I was gushing uh, yeah it is a very fantastic channel as well so uh, wow wow I see a lot of comments here uh, talking about him and uh, uh, well listen I want to thank everyone that comments here I'm kind of just looking for any specific questions I can answer otherwise we will be here for a while uh, Joe Pistrito says uh, Pistrito says I really need to get monkey hammer drinking game started <laughs> I think I'd be smashed every day after your video yeah certain guys use certain words some guys use monkey hammer for the drinking game some use I, I digress for the for the, for the uh, drinking game and what's the other word I forget oh some like to use my profanities as well uh, but either way, it's all fun. <laughs> and uh, uh, Joseph, thank you for commenting and thank you for watching Heart of Texas. Hickok45, <laughs> I've seen that. Someone said that and I said, what? You know, and then I looked and yeah, he's shooting at uh, pots for sure. And they do make a lot of smoke. Um, yep, that's for sure. Well, listen, I'm going to roll out of here. I'm going to call a day. And what is that? Uh, that's my uh, uh, theme for the year, okay? Well, maybe we'll last a year with this one before I <laughs> change it. But, uh, folks, think for yourself. Question authority. And you know what? Even question what you think you know because it may not be your own thoughts. It may be just thoughts and narratives and, and uh, dare I say, brainwashing uh, that you've undergone yourself. I have, for sure. Um, and uh, I've learned to question even what I think I know, and I do it on a daily basis. Sometimes you find out what you think you know is stuff that you never even studied and learned about. You just took it at face value from someone else, normally an official source. Question that, folks, for sure. Well, that's it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811. Between the hours of 10 and 4, Mondays through Fridays, happy to help you out with anything. And uh, again, we advertise to beat uh, 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 Jay and Bullion and Atmex, so feel free to call us anytime 10 to 4 and uh, we'll help you out. Hey, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day and uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.